During the last two years, an extraordinary political phenomenon has gripped the West. The decision by thousands of women to challenge the most powerful military establishment the world has ever known. The women of the West are taking on the bomb. Women are here in their thousands because this is where cruise missiles are going to be stationed. It's a way of making nuclear weapons imaginable to people. You can't see them, you can't hear them, and you won't see them coming into this country. It'll all be done quietly. And the reason we're all here is to bring attention to the place where they're going to be stationed, to give people an idea of what's going to happen. <laughs> Cruise missiles have politicized women on a scale not seen since the suffragettes took to the streets. Greenham Common Air Force Base in Berkshire is one of two sites the government has chosen for 160 cruise missiles, due later this year. It's become the focus for the women's anti-nuclear movement in Britain. Work is now well underway in digging out missile silos to house these new weapons. Cruise flies close to the ground, avoiding radar. Its sophisticated guidance means the Russians would have little chance of shooting it down. Once they're launched, they will almost inevitably reach and destroy their targets, each with the force of 15 Hiroshima bombs. Women are also concerned because crews can be fired from mobile launchers spread over most of England and Wales. The only way the Russians could avoid being hit by them would be to destroy them before they were launched by blanketing the entire country with a carpet of giant nuclear bombs. What women in the peace movement fear is that NATO would be forced to reply with its bigger bombs and in 20 minutes their joint nuclear arsenal would have wiped out most of North America, Russia Europe and almost certainly all of Britain. In the summer of 1981, 40 women marched from Cardiff to Greenham Common and chained themselves to the perimeter fence. They set up a peace camp and began a series of non-violent peaceful protests which gradually attracted media attention and more support from women. As the British women dug in for the winter, across the Atlantic thousands of American women Feminists and ecologists marched through the Arlington War Cemetery to the Pentagon to protest against the new generation of nuclear missiles. Cruise, Pershing, Trident and the MX.